So, ID Cooling have released a new series of all-in-one coolers, the Frostflow Plus. This is the 280 version and it retails at £59.99. and pence. So how good can a £60 all-in-one cooler really be? Let's find out. Starting at the radiator, it's made from aluminium with a size of 311 by 138 by 27 millimeters and it has a really nice finish on the side with the ID cooling logo. The two included 140 millimeter fans have white blades and a black surround. They're rated to run at between 800 to 1600 RPM and they're also supplied with small sticky rubber pads for noise and vibration dampening. The tubing is 380mm long with a premium finish, I really like this type of tubing and it's flexible enough to get into position without kinking. The pump block has a copper base and a black plastic top with the ID cooling logo and a surrounding ring. Now these light up with a bright white LED when the pump is running. Installation is a breeze and the supplied instructions tell you all you need to know. Now the Frostflow Plus comes with Intel brackets pre-installed and AMD brackets included separately with just a couple of screws needed to change them over. There's a one fits all backplate with several different holes for fitting to the multitude of different sockets including AM4 but not including Threadripper at this time. Simply insert the long screws through the backplate and then through the motherboard and using the washers and long nuts fix these firmly in place from the front by hand. Apply a small pea sized blob of the supplied thermal paste to the CPU, remove the plastic from the pump block and push it down on top. Using the T-nuts tighten this down again by hand so as not to damage the CPU or the motherboard. Attach the fans to the radiator and mount it into the case. Using the supplied fan splitter cable attach both fans to the fan header on the motherboard and attach the pump cable to another header. Here I'm using the CPU fan and CPU opt headers on my motherboard. Obviously your motherboard may have different connectors to this. And that's it. All you need to do now is using either the BIOS or whatever software is supplied with your motherboard, adjust the fan curves until you're happy with both the acoustics and the temperatures. So looking at the cooler installed, it looks fantastic. And the white fans and white LEDs on the pump block really stand out. Add some RGB magic into the mix and the fans reflect the colour perfectly. The only downside then is that the LEDs on the pump are extra bright white and tend to stand out a little too much. Now it would have been nice to see some RGB LEDs in there but at this price I'm not complaining. Acoustic wise the pump does have a little noise to it but not outside of what I would say is acceptable. The fans, once you give them the right fan curve, are very quiet. But what is really important though is the performance. Well, I tested this using an i7 6700K running at 4.2 GHz, 16 GB of Crucial Ballistic Sport DDR4 running at 2400 MHz on a GB Z170M Gaming 5 motherboard. All of this in a Thermaltake Core V21 case. And to see how this compares against one of the major players in the cooling world, I also ran the same tests using a Corsair H100i V2. Yes, the Corsair is the smaller cooler, it's a 240mm, but this currently retails at over £100 here in the UK, more than £40 different. So let's see how it does compare. While using IDA64 for the stress testing and hardware monitor to record the temperatures, the H100i gave us figures of 30 degrees C at idle and 52 degrees C at full load for well over 30 minutes. And how did the Frostflow Plus 280 compare? Well as you can see it was just 2 degrees higher at idle and only 3 degrees more under full load. Now there will be some out there that will want every degree lower that they can get so would always go for the more expensive option. But if you're looking from a price performance perspective, the Frostflow Plus wins massively. So what do I think of the ID calling Frostflow Plus 280? I think it's amazing value for the money and I totally recommend it. 
Now I'll leave links to both the 280 and the 240 version of the Frostflow Plus in the description below. Please use our Amazon and Overclockers links, it really does make a big difference to the channel if you do. Please leave this video a like if you liked it. Stay tuned for loads more great tech videos coming soon, including several PC builds and loads of reviews. So why not subscribe so you don't miss any of these? Well thanks for watching and I will see you later.